Hello everyone, mabuhay! This is Lori, your sales force now, and I'm here to demonstrate my third app. This is a job application tracker. What you're seeing here is the home page which I built using the Lightning App Builder. Um, these three tabs here, job postings, accounts, and contacts, they are standard objects. Right out of the box. I did not make new objects because I like to preserve their relationship with each other. And copying that relationship by making new custom objects would be a lot of headache. So I chose to keep it simple. Now this job posting is actually an opportunity which I renamed. See? Opportunities that I renamed using this part of the setup. And if you will click on one, these are just hypothetical entries that I made just to practice trying to enter information. Um, so if you can see here, these are the different stages of the process of a job application planning submitting my application screening the first interview second third interview i might not even go through a third interview who knows job offered and the close is maybe i accepted it or i rejected it <laughs> i accepted it or i got rejected um So here are the fields. When I was uh, trying to see what fields I should keep from the standard object and what fields I should add, um, I was trying to see, you know, what information do I need? So whatever I did not need, I removed from the page layout. Okay. So if you remember, you can remove things from there and move them back up here. If you don't have a field that you want, you can create a new one. Um, let's say the date submitted, the date that I submitted my job application, the date that I will accept a job or I get rejected, those are fields that I made. So... You can go here and uh, there's my job accepted or rejected and whatnot. The others were, you know, from the out of the box sales force. But I really, really love this path. And for that one, uh, why did I get out of there? Let me go back to that job. No, that would be a job opportunity. Job posting. Okay. So, for the fields and relationships, you're probably wondering how I change the stages. You just go here. And as you can see, the original set of stages are already here deactivated and I created new ones for my own process. They are the ones that are active right now. Of course the accounts will be the businesses. And what do we need to enter? The details are there. I did not make any required fields here. Contacts. If I create a new one, it will ask me for a record type. Um, so these record types are something I made. And to do that, you have to go to contacts. And 
you'll choose on the fields and relationships. Oh wait, no, the record types, and then create a new one. So these are the fields that I have there. Um, basically what I feel are important. The title, account, the company that the person is associated with, email, phone number, address. I don't even know if I should have the address, but, and the description. Now the calendar, I added it there so that I can schedule an interview or whatever I just don't know if I can um, import this or integrate sync it with my Google Calendar I love this email template here I did not create any trigger flow but I do want to have a template so that I can easily compose an email after an interview and I have already something to start with and um, I can easily personalize the email okay so this is where you can write an email I can paste that template here of course in the files you can upload your resumes tasks I don't know yet what I'm gonna put in there that's not already in any of these but that's fine all right I think that's all I have to say about this and I hope you got some ideas on how to make your own apps whether it be a job application tracker or a cert certificate tracker um, and I hope you enjoyed this I hope you will continue to have fun with your Salesforce journey have a good weekend